proving once again that we are a very clicky centric channel we are reviewing the dog sitter <music> Hello everyone and welcome back to another Playmo AF unboxing and review video. Today we are looking at the Playmobil Special Plus set number 70883, the Dog Sitter. Why they called it the Dog Sitter over the Dog Walker, I'm not sure. I have a feeling they went with Dog Walker for a previous Dog Walker. <laughs> but why they couldn't have uh, just referred to it as the second one who knows anyway looking at the front image here we have a somewhat beat up box but uh, that's why we have no problem with opening this one we have a blonde woman here with a purple shirt and denim shorts uh, walking four little puppies here and uh, we're pretty excited to have um, some new puppies to add to our collection of Playmobil um, <laughs> Just because you know you can never have enough and uh, not a whole lot else going on looks like she's uh, walking the dogs at a park over to the right here we have a continuation of the front image on the leather side we have special plus the barcode bottom we have the choking hazard warnings on the top we have the country of manufacture and origin the back side has all the rest of the choking hazard warnings and all of our pieces photographed individually I can't wait to see these puppies. And I also like the fact that the uh, leashes can hold two dogs at one time. That's pretty nifty. All right, let's go ahead, crack this thing open, and see what's inside. All right, starting off with our clicky. Ah, uh, this is a pretty cool looking setup. I really, I really dig this woman's clothes. Very, very natural to me. I like that. That's really cool. I would have liked uh, some eyebrows on her. I think it would have kind of, uh, I don't know. It just seems like it would be more complete with some eyebrows there. But that's just me. No big deal. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a really cool figure, actually. Now, one really nice thing about these dogs that are included in the set is that they are already tethered. They already have the rubber band slash leash wrapped around their neck. So it actually kind of saves the consumer of potentially breaking the rubber band as they are um, looping it around the little doggies necks. So that's, uh, that's actually really cool. I'm glad they did that. But here's the fun part, is getting the other part of the tether to go onto the leash. So we're gonna check that out. Uh, let's see how difficult it is, if it is at all. Here's our leash close up. As you can see, it has these little holes where the little ball at the end of the other is supposed to go on to and I guess here's the other side just just so you see it um, so the so the little ball just fits right into the little slot there oh missed it I know I need to cut my nails all right so there it is and I guess it's in. <laughs> it's not coming out, so that's okay. Uh, I am going to actually do blue and red on each, rather than do blue on one side and then red on the other. Let's see. Okay, it wasn't it wasn't so bad? And they seem they seem to be pretty locked in there, so that's not too bad. All right, here are the dogs. And let's go ahead and do the other two. Okay, here's the other one. All right, pretty secure. Oops. And then here is the blue one. Okay. There we go. We've got our dogs. This poor dog. I don't know where he's going to go. He's not 
planning on getting up and walking anytime soon. And here are our puppies, all leashed up and ready to go, except for that one, <laughs> the little Scooby one. And there's our dog walker, our dog sitter. Uh, such a weird choice of names. Anyway, so yeah, pretty simple. Uh, not a whole lot else to go here with. Uh, is it my favorite? No, I'm not a big fan of the the rubber bands not getting locked in. I mean, they could easily just pop right out. In fact, I just don't want to see how easy it is. It'll just depress me. But um, not too expensive of a figure. It's just it's just you know money out the door if you lose these really fast. I mean, you know, if you got a kid and he's taking them outside or you know bringing them all, all into the car with them with you on your trip or whatever. Uh, the odds of these getting lost are, are, are kind of high. So uh, as, a, as a parent buying a toy for my kid, I, I wouldn't, this would not be my favorite thing. Um, figure wise, yes. Dog wise, of course. But these things, because there's nothing there to hold the, the straps in, yeah, that, that part is a little bit disappointing. Same with this purse here. Um, I, I, I like the fact that it is as thin as, as it is, but uh, you know, Again, the, the strap could get lost, and uh, you lose the wallet, and it's gone. Um, other than that, you know, great for adult collectors like myself. Uh, I'm not planning on doing a whole lot with this, just keeping it on the shelf. And there goes my dog. That's fantastic. Speaking of dogs, there goes my dog. <sighs> and that's pretty much it, guys. We've got more clicky-centric videos on the way. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Although, I don't know why you would because of the unprofessionalism due to my dog barking. Uh, please give it a thumbs down, and uh, we will see you guys next time. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. You can find us at playmo.af. Guys, thanks a lot for watching. We will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.